Welcome back, you guys. We're here at Yuletide Taekwondo Academy. It's me, Mr. Japan, and today we're going to be going over how to tie your chest guard, all right? So we need two things. First, we need a chest guard. All right, second, so this is your chest guard. It comes blue and it comes red, all right? Now, next thing we need is for me to be in the right uniform. So just give me one moment, let me see. All right, much better, much better. Now. What we also need is someone to tie a chest guard on. So, hey, Miss Mary Catherine, how are you doing? Good, how are you? All right, so today we're showing them how to tie a chest guard. You mind helping me out? Sure. All right, great. So, you're going to hand it to your partner, and they're going to go ahead and place it over their head, like so. And then once they turn around, you're going to ask them to hold their arms down so the sides will fold even. Now, from right here, at the top, you already see it's already crossed. So, all you want to do is take this side, this string, and put it on the outside first loop. Don't go on the inside, all right? You wanna be on the outside first loop over here. And on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing on the outside first loop over here. Very good. Now, from right there, we're gonna simply bring it together, tighten it up, all right? And now here, we're gonna cross over to go to the other one, to the second loop. So from this side over here, it's gonna come over and go through this loop. Yeah, there we go. And then this side is gonna come over to the second loop over here and go in and out. From right there, we're gonna tie it just a little bit more. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, but for the third loop. So we cross over, go to the third loop. Boom, and bring it to the other side, come to the third loop. So. What it should look like is come straight down, one, cross over, go through two, cross over, go through three, just like so. Now from right here, a lot of people, sometimes they tend to pull out, and after a while, at first it's okay, but after a while, your chest guard is gonna be used so much that you're gonna start to rip and tear your loops at the bottom. So what you wanna do is, to keep from doing that, bring it straight down, pull straight down, and then bring it up, and from right there, that allows your chest guard, the loops, not to get cut so easy, all right? From there, you want to ask your partner first, before you tie it, is it too tight? No, it is not. All right, so you don't want it to be too tight, or you don't want it to be too loose either. So make sure that it's a good amount, and right there, you're going to tie, you're going to cross, just like how you tie your shoestrings. What I like to do is cross over, pull it tight, I like to get my bunny ear, bring it around, and then go through the inside like so. Get two bunny ears and tie them. And that's how you tie your chest guard. All right, how's it feel, Ms. Mary Catherine? All right, great. So, one, two, and three. Now, if you guys wanna see what a full chest guard looks like with all the gear on, along with the forearm pads, shin guards, and head gear, Mr. Samuel has everything on for us. Like I said, we have chest guard, gloves, forearm pads, all right, shin guards, Head gear, mouthpiece, and groin cup. All right, so when you go to actual tournaments, you have to actually wear all your gear to be able to spar. All right, so, thank you, Sammy. Sorry. All right, so, you guys, thank you for watching our video. Thank you for subscribing, of course. Remember, always like, share, and comment on all that we do. And can't wait to see y'all on the next one. All right, bye.